Well, hello there, all my lovely, lovely subscribers. So this message is to talk about Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So what's going on with Libras, Geminis, and Aquarians? First and foremost, there are so many of you air signs that like a branch on a tree, you have reached out, you have branched out, you have struggled to make a difference, to prove a point, and to encourage someone to see the best of you. A lot of you wonderful, beautiful air signs have owned so much heartache and disappointment in the situations, the relationships, the behaviors that you were all caught in. I understand that a lot of you have that very strong, desirable temptation to fix what's broken, to love what's unloved. For some of you, it's a matter of accepting or being accepted. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you have gone above and beyond. Not just today, not just this month, not just this year, but pretty much since you were able to recognize and be involved in a relationship. Now, for some of you, this may have to do with family and your home life. For some of you, this is going to be relevant to your love, partnership, relationship. For some of you, when things began to look very peaceful, very mild, very open-hearted, a lot of you, now I'm going to talk to some of you, who married that person, who wanted to give it a try. And I am going to be honest and say some of you really weren't sure if you were making the right decision by getting married. But a lot of you wanted so much to get out of your home life, to get out of that situation, that you took advantage of the offer, the opportunity that came quite quickly. Now, for many of you, this definitely uh, took its toll on you because I don't think that a lot of you knew exactly what it is that you were getting into. But I am sure that a lot of you, Gemini, Libra, Aquariuses, I'm sure you knew what situation you were getting away from. Some of you, in your past, suffered abuse, whether it be emotional, physical, emotional, again emotional, mental. Some of you, all of the above. Some of you just could not wait for that day till you turned 18. Some of you left before 18. Some of you pretty much stayed there, but were still raising yourself all along. Some of you didn't have that responsible parent that was going to step up to the plate and do what was expected of them because they too were a child in their mind. They still didn't develop the way they should have with the maturity to take the responsibility of the child that they conceived. For some of you... You've learned to let go of the abuse, the neglect, the torture, the restraints that were put on you. You learned to forgive that person in one aspect. But in fact, some of you are still struggling and trying to still heal. Some of you may still be stuck there right now. And just praying and hoping that the opportunity for freedom, for peace, 
for sanity is on the way. And it is. And it is. Your angels are circling all around you. For those of you that are still stuck in that situation. But your angels are all around you. And they are trying to support you, encourage you, and guide you. And continue your strength to hold on. Because you're almost through it. It's almost done. You're on your way to getting away from all that nonsense. All those negative, just naughty type of behaviors that somebody was instilling upon you. For you air signs who, as I said, <coughs> got into a relationship just because you needed to get out of another some of you truly believed you loved this person. Some of you were so young, you were still a child mentally and emotionally. But you were trying to grow up so fast. You were just trying to live life. All you could think about was having that family, you know, the husband, the wife, that spouse, maybe children. Some of you may have adopted children, but either way, you knew what it was you wanted. You knew you wanted to have your own place. You wanted to make your own rules. You wanted to design things and make your house comfortable the way you wanted it to be. If there were days you didn't want to make your bed, you didn't make your bed. You were just happy that you could live without the rules, so to speak. A lot of you air signs tended to accept behaviors that normally wouldn't be acceptable. Tolerated situations, circumstances that really were beyond tolerable. Your tolerance pretty much got exceeded and you were pretty much spent, meaning you had enough. Some of you looked at your partner as the provider. Their finances took care of you and everything else, which left you to be dependent rather than independent. Some of you struggled battling, arguing on a daily basis later on. Wasn't that much longer after the marriage or after moving in together, it wasn't that much longer when things started to change. For some of you, it wasn't that much longer when your partner decided to cheat. For some of you, it wasn't that much longer when your partner quit their job and started drinking and became abusive, became lazy. They completely neglected you. They didn't give you any attention. For some of you, you were left home a lot at night. For some of you, it might have been good for a while. For some of you, for some of you, you might have thought life was better than you ever thought. And then for some of you later on, things changed. People started getting short-tempered, started losing their patience. For some of you, your partner changed out of the blue like... Who in the heck is that? Who did I marry? Or who am I with? Their behaviors changed. Maybe they became more aggressive. Verbally, physically. Maybe they began to manipulate you. Maybe that's when the lies started. For some of you, this could have been your father. Who was talking to you and telling you lies. And mistreating you. Or even abusing you. For some of you it could have been a step father or mother. For some of you. You were led to believe that things were one way in life. And later on as you grew up you found out things were quite different. For some of you. You may have finally left that situation. And didn't care if you didn't have a pot to piss in. You were getting out. You were running. You were getting away. The minute you had the chance. You ran. You either got in that car and took off or you grabbed your clothes and ran to a friend's house and 
never looked back. For some of you, it wasn't that easy because you had children and you really didn't have anywhere to go. For some of you, you may have been in an arranged marriage and your family didn't believe in divorce. They believed you needed to stay. For some of you, you are still fighting that fight. There's going to come a time, air signs, for those of you who are still there fighting that fight, protecting your children, but hoping for the day when your children are all grown and you're able to go out and leave on your own. But as being as wonderful parents as you are, knowing you'll make sure your child or children are okay before you do anything, before you make any choices or decisions. Some of you air signs have taken the same partner back and back and back. They left, they came back. You left, you came back. A lot of you air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, are so determined to make things work. The word quit or failure doesn't exist in your vocabulary, which is why you're determined to keep trying and trying. A lot of you air signs tend to love so hard, so strong, which is why you're still where you are today. But there is going to be a light. There is going to be a happily ever after. There is, in fact, going to be the life that you've always wanted. The person, the type of person that you've always wanted to be with. That is coming, and it is on the way. So before you give up, before you decide to walk away, before you feel that things need to change before you get that urge take your time make sure in fact that you have everything planned out just the way it needs to be planned for some of you giving someone else another chance taking somebody around and around again so to speak Spinning on that merry-go-round over and over and over. Until you're able to decide when is it time to get off. When is it time? When will you see the light? When will you know that your train has finally come in? Air signs, you deserve to be happy. It is okay to give people chances and opportunities to get things right. There's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, it's important to give yourself a chance. You deserve to be happy. You're going to decide very soon, especially with things going on now, where you're starting to see where you're starting to see how important and how short life can actually be. So stay tuned. Stay focused. And know that we are all here for you. H&G family is right around the corner. If this message resonates with you, if any of this made sense to you, please comment below. I look forward to speaking to you on my live about this video. Thank you. Be safe. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. We love you here at H&G.